my name is Janet DeWillis and today I'm going to make a short video on how to take a picture of the full moon. I have been teaching myself photography for about two years now and I wanted to share with you some of the skills I've learned along the way. One of them is how to take a picture of the full moon. So come on, let's get started. So the equipment you're going to need to take pictures of the moon are a tripod and a sturdy tripod. Um, your camera and for this picture I'm going to use my um, Canon lens it's a 70 to 300 millimeter you can see that there great and I'm going to do all the setup now because um, at night it's going to be just a little trickier to see okay so let's have a look at our camera settings I'm going to have it on manual and that means that I can go in and change all my settings. And first we're going to start with ISO 800. Um, since it is dark outside and we want to get in as much light as we can without losing quality. If we were to go up to ISO 1600 we might start getting some grain into the picture and we don't really want that because most likely we're going to be enlarging the picture. We're going to start at f11 because the moon is quite far away and we want to have a clear um, picture of it. And we're going to start off our shutter speed at 1 over 200. We're going to maybe vary that a little bit depending on the brightness of the moon when we actually go out. You're going to find that each time you take a picture of the moon your settings are going to be slightly different. And so we want to kind of have a guideline to start with and this is what we will start with. I'm not going to worry about having my little heart right at the zero because we really want to underexpose the moon. If you were to do your settings so that your little heart um, thingy is at the zero, the moon is going to be way overexposed. Since the moon is so bright, we're just going to ignore that whole area there. Um, for the white balance, I'm going to start it on cloudy. Um, on the cloudy white balance, it's going to give a yellowish effect to the moon. It's really kind of fun to change your white balance throughout taking your pictures because um, the incandescent and the tungsten um, white balance settings will also give the moon a different color. I'm going to use one shot which means that it's only one shot, it's not on burst mode. And where you see that little square with the dot in, that's center metering. I like to use that um, for most of my pictures because that's what the camera monitors for the um, exposure and I want it to be centered. I don't want it to be evaluative because it'll kind of look around the whole scene and since the scene is going to be basically black and white or black and yellow we want to focus primarily on the moon and this way on the center metering the camera will focus on the moon and it will also meter the light off the moon. On my camera, on my lens, I'm also going to have it on autofocus and then that will also help in those settings as well. The back of your camera may look a little bit different than mine. I'm using a Canon Rebel T4i um, and you can use any camera that you like as long as you can go in and change the settings. So that's why I have it on manual mode because I like to have full control of all my settings. And also if you can use a camera that you can attach a telephoto lens to. I'm using a 70 to 300 millimeter, and I have changed the lens to automatic. I find that the lens can focus, I believe anyways, better than I can. So I have it on automatic focus. So use whatever camera you have, um, even your point and shoot, if you can do it 12 times zoom or whatever zoom it has. Um, don't worry if you don't have a, ca a can fancy camera. Um, any camera will work. It's just really great to get out there and take pictures. Okay, we're all set up outside now. I'm setting up a little bit early today just because um, when I film at night you can't actually see anything. So the moon's not due to rise for a couple more hours yet. But we've got our camera gear set up and we've got it on our tripod. And the moon is going to rise in between those trees just sort of beyond the barn. So just a couple of pointers when you're filming at night or doing um, any, a sort of night photography. Always use a tripod. And if you can, use the self-timer or a remote shutter release. That way you're not introducing any camera shake. So no matter what camera you're using, whether it's a point and shoot or a DL, DSLR, um, always put it on a tripod. 
you'll get the best um, images then. So remember the settings that we have are just an experiment. They're a guideline, a starting point. So you might want to go a little bit higher, a little bit lower in your settings because each night um, the moon's brightness is going to be different. And also remember that you can take pictures of the moon at any time. It doesn't have to be a full moon or a special moon. Um, taking pictures of the crescent moon is really nice too and you can have trees silhouetted in them as well. So have fun and experiment and if you can post pictures I would love to hear back from you. So enjoy. Mm -hmm.